In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform SEO on all the images on your WordPress website. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. Remembering to set image alt text or title attributes is something that's very easy to forget when you're adding new content to your website. But we can use All-in-One SEO's image SEO to help us with this. So the first thing we're going to do is install the All-in-One SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on Plugins, and then click on the button that says Add New. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the Account section into your Download area and click the big green button that says Download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the install now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says activate plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO setup wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down this page, there's a spot for us to enter our all in one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at AIOSEO.com slash account. Make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our All-in-One SEO Pro License Key. And then we're going to paste the License Key into the License Key field. Click Connect. And that's it. All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. Now that you've got All-in-One SEO installed, let's head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu on the left and click on Search Appearance. And then on the tabs up top, we're going to click on the tab that says Image SEO. If this is your first time using Image SEO, you're going to have to enable it to see all the features available to you as a pro user by clicking the big green button that says Activate Image SEO. And then if we scroll back up, the first option here is about attachments, and it's giving you three options. So it's saying, do we want to redirect the attachment URL to the actual attachment, to the attachment parent, or to have it disabled? So the attachment URL is anytime you upload anything to the media library in WordPress, WordPress creates a special page for this called an attachment URL. It doesn't add very much SEO value at all to your website, so we recommend that you redirect it back to the attachment. So I'm going to leave that setting as is. Below that, we have all the image SEO options. So you can see there's five tabs here, the title, the alt tag, the caption, the description, and the file name. I'm going to start in the title tab. So if you've used our plugin before and you've formatted the title or description of any of your posts, this should look pretty familiar to you. So we basically have the same kind of options for the title format of your images. The title of an image is a little bit of additional information, and it's what someone will see when they hover their mouse over your image. Here you can decide how you want to construct the title of that image. You can clear all of these things out. You can use the image title. You can throw in a separator. And if you click the View All Tags link here, or simply type in the hashtag symbol into the box, you can get all these different options that are available. So there's tons of options that you can use in the title format of your images. I'm going to just go ahead and stick with the image title, a separator, and the site title. The next option is about the punctuation. So you can strip out the punctuation in the title of your image. We have it disabled by default. I'm going to enable it. And then you can exclude certain characters. So maybe I want to only strip out dashes. So I'm going to exclude underscores, numbers, the plus sign, apostrophe, the pound sign, and the ampersand. Everything else is going to be excluded. I'm just going to strip out dashes. So if your title, for example, was red dash basketball dash sneaker, you could change that to red space basketball space sneaker 
by clicking this checkbox here. And you could do the same thing for underscores if you wanted. And here we're getting a message telling us that is disabled when we are excluding underscores from stripping. So in order to convert underscores to spaces, you first have to not exclude it from the stripping, and then you could convert those to spaces. So casing here applies to the title attribute of the image. It's disabled by default. There's three options which are pretty self-explanatory. Lowercase, everything will be in lowercase. Title case, major words are capitalized, but minor words remain in their original casing. And sentence case, the first word of each sentence starts with a capital. You can also exclude certain posts or pages or certain terms. So if you don't want to do any of this image SEO to any posts about debt, you can start excluding some of those pages. You can also exclude by term. So maybe I have certain pages tagged with the term debt, and I can exclude those pages here. And when you're done adjusting all these settings, hit the big blue Save Changes button. If we scroll back up the page, there's still four other tabs here that we have options for. So I'm going to click on the second one, the Alt Tag option. And you can see we have the same options that we just had for title, also for the Alt Tag. So we can format the alt tag, we can strip punctuation, we can change the casing, and we can exclude post pages or different terms that tag a post or page. So let's scroll back up to the strip punctuation section. Let's enable that, and then I'm not going to exclude anything. So we are going to basically strip out all the punctuation, and I want to convert dashes and underscores to spaces. And then for the actual alt tag format, we're going to take these out and we're going to use the alt tag. I'm going to save my changes there. And then let's see this in action. So I'm going to head on over to the media library. And then let's add a new image to the media library. I'm going to click choose file. And I'm going to upload this image called men's black wetsuit. Click the blue Upload button. Okay, so we've got the image in the media library. I'm going to go over to my post section. And I'm just going to bring up this first post here called TOC Demo. And right below the second heading, I'm going to drop in this image. From the media library, there's that image. And then I'm going to update the post. And then let's go view the post. And then if we right click on the image and choose to inspect it, I can see the code behind this image and we can see the alt text here it says men's black wetsuit. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to see if I can highlight that. Yeah, the plugin did exactly what it's supposed to and changed that alt text on this image to what we wanted it to be, which was men's black wetsuit. So we're back on the image SEO section of search appearance now, and I'm going to click on the caption tab. The first option is asking you whether you want to auto-generate captions when you upload images to the media library. It's disabled by default. We can enable that. You can also go into the media library and apply a bulk setting to all the images you have already uploaded. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But first, I want to scroll down to the rest of the settings for caption here. As you can see, it's very similar to the other two tabs. So we have the caption format we can construct, punctuation and casing. If I scroll back up to description, again, like with the captions, we have an option to auto-generate the description every time you upload an item to the media library. And then we have the same options that we had on the other tabs. So before we leave the description tab, I want to draw your attention back down to where it says auto-generate description on upload. We have this disabled. This is the same functionality that appears on the caption tab for auto-generate caption on upload. But I want to point out that where it says disabled, it also tells us if you disable the setting, you can still generate descriptions in the media library via our bulk action. So I want to show you how that works right now. Underneath that section, it says description format, and we're using the image title. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that out and then put in something that's very easy for us to remember. I'm going to put in the word jelly bean, and then I'm going to scroll down and save the changes. So if we scroll back up and head on over to the media library, and I'm going to pull up this image of a men's black wetsuit. 
And we can see in the description, it says this is the description. If I actually open up the attachment page in a new tab, my theme displays the description below the image, and it says this is the description. So I'm going to head back over to the media library and then select that item. We could select all the items in the media library or a range of items, but for this example, I'm just going to select that one. And then on the drop down above, there's a new option that says auto generate image attributes. This is coming from the image SEO feature of the all in one SEO plugin. So I'm going to select that and then click apply. And when that's done, I'm going to pull up that image again. And if I scroll down, we can see that it has changed from this is the description to the word jelly bean. And if I hit refresh on the image attachment page, we can see that it says jelly bean here as well. So that's how you use that bulk action to apply attributes to images in your media library. And now we're back on the image SEO section of search appearance one final time. If I go to the file name tab up top, we have the option to strip punctuation down to a fairly granular level. And then we have the casing option. And then we also have specific words we can strip. So for example, if every image you uploaded to your WordPress website, somewhere in the file name had IMG, and you know that's just not adding a lot of value to your website, you can type that in here and it'll strip that out of the file name. So let's go ahead and click the blue button and save our changes here. And then scroll all the way back up. And I want to show you this in action in the media library. So click on the media library. And then up top, we're going to click the button that says add new. And I'm going to click choose file. And I'm going to grab this file here. You can see the name is img space wetsuit.jpg. So I'm going to upload that file by clicking the blue upload button. And as we can see, the file that has been uploaded to the media library is now called wetsuit. So it did in fact strip out that word IMG. So that's how to perform SEO on all of the images on your WordPress website. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to set the SEO title and description format for all of the posts on your website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.